Zoya server Zoya 1 and this is my assistant Zoya Toyo. Can we get you a drink? This conversation is imagined. The restaurant these two food delivering robots work is real and located in Xi'an, China. Good morning everyone, my name is Jalal Toker from the Department of Economics. My talk is concerned with the negative effects of robots on economy. I have divided my talk, my talk into two parts and they are unemployment and income inequality. Let me start with unemployment. From the steam engine to the internet, technology has always driven human progress. But now, Martin Ford, who is the right, writer of the rise of the robots, suggests that if not handled right, robots may trigger mass unemployment and economic collapse. My question is, do you know the national rate of unemployment? No. Uh, in Turkey, unemployment rate is now almost 30%, but national rate of unemployment is 5%. Now, my big question is coming. Are we prepared for a world where 50 to 75 percent of workers are unemployed? It seems like a ridiculous question, but it is something that scientists and the technologists say we seriously need to think about. Rice University computer science professor Moshe Vardy suggests that in 25 years, driving a car by people will look clean, antique, it will look like a horse or buggy. So, Many of the approximately 4 million driving jobs out there. And it is the same for pet sector. And these are just a couple of examples how physical jobs will be replaced. Robots mean any mid paying jobs like data entry, number crunching, and operations, and these jobs will be replaced as well. This will remove a big piece of approximately 7 million business and financial operations jobs out there. When you add all the data, 50% unemployment may think, maybe think like optimistic. Martin Ford, who is software entrepreneur and at the same time he is the writer of the rise of the robots, predicts by the end of the century. 75% unemployment. He says that the vast majority of people do routine work and human economy always demanded the routine work. But now this work will not be done by humans. After I've talked about the unemployment, I'd like to continue with income inequality. There aren't enough formal jobs, no matter how we are educating people. Our new industries are not labor intensive. Ray Jobson and McAfee suggested as robots take the place of human in works, the rest are extremely specialized jobs, like people who create apps, which are high paying jobs, and the other high high touch service jobs that robots cannot replace yet, and which are low paying, and this will increase the income inequality. Let's have a look at this line graph. The blue line represents the most riches 1% of population and the red line the other 99% of population. The x axis represents the years and average income is the on the y axis. You can see the income inequality is increasing throughout the years. Today in this presentation I've talked about negative effects of robots on economy and made my majors were unemployment and income inequality. I hope now you get an idea about negative effects of robots on economy, unemployment and income inequality. I would like to conclude by leaving you with this thought. If all the profit and efficiency from the new robot technology Go toward a small group of people, and if we don't change our business and social model, we're gonna be left with an increasing massive pool of people. Thank you for listening. These are my references. If you have any questions, I would like to answer them.